Hey, this is Rick with Scottsdale Urban Farms, and we've arrived. We've been talking about uh, transforming our phase one garden into a tomato uh, garden, and a, um, <clears throat> our first started at our farm to see uh, an herbal um, foods. But uh, what we're doing here is this is going to be raised beds. We've got ditches for watering in between each raised mound. This is where our tomatoes, we have 55, 55 uh, tomatoes coming, nine of which are heirlooms. Uh, the nine heirloom varieties that we have, uh, I'm going to be uh, documenting, uh, researching um, all of the food, the flower, the pre-fruit, the fruiting, the harvesting nutritional phase, pH water, compost teas, ingredients of compost teas, uh, foliation feeding, and uh, what we can do to uh, create a really good genetic strain, you know, for future seeds. The heirloom seeds, remember guys, are the ones that we can harvest, the ones that we can save, the ones that we can use for years to come, generations, uh, paying this, this forward and uh, allowing um, our children, our grandchildren, and their families uh, the seed based on uh, what we've grown and what we've done here to preserve that. And all grown in all natural soils. Uh, we, we, we started out with rock. I'll do another video here. We're planting an orchard and I'll show you what we started out with. Uh, but right now, it's, uh, it's just amazing soil and it's just filled with life. Uh, teeming with worms, teeming with worms, and uh, they they leave behind uh, amazing nutrition for our plants. But uh, those over there that you see, uh, those herbs, and then that pepper, they're all going to get transplanted down there uh, into the uh, other adjoining garden that has the rows going the other way. That's going to be our start of our of our, um, our herb garden down here. All of this so I started I'll see if they're still here I started digging uh, holes and uh, wanted to see you know cuz I just I just prepared these so I wanted to see you know what kind of life uh, is in there and as you can see right there's a worm and uh, they just they love this soil they really do it's it's just amazing there's another one right there so you know we can go go on any one of these mounds and uh, let's just let's just check here for example and uh, we'll see see what we pull up yep you can see them they're just laced in there all throughout this soil this is this is good good soil right there worms so all of these there's go there goes another one right here yeah they're they're, they're everywhere uh, it's pretty cool again there's there's one right right down there so all of these tomato plants this week 55 of them are gonna uh, start to get a new home get new feed out here and uh, we'll post a picture as we go so take care thanks so much for following us if you're still here like and share comment below on your successes your failures your strategies your wins and uh, let's let's keep growing together take care everybody have a blessed day this is rick with scottsdale urban farms